Nikki Haley is gaining growing support from independent voters. Can he paste these? Newton. Iowa Carol Camp wanted to hear what Nikki Haley had to say without anyone else's filter. The 58-year-old political independent and educator at Iowa State University Extension first saw Haley speak at a town hall in Newton on November 17. He agreed with some parts of what Haley said and disagreed with others. He pointed out mistakes made by both sides. Camp said, for me, at least I know he's not going to protect his party if they're doing something that's not going well. Camp supported President Joe Biden in the 2020 election but said, I feel like my time to serve America has passed. The former South Carolina governor and ambassador to the United Nations is seeing growing interest from independent politicians like Camp as they seek to challenge his former boss, Donald Trump. More Nikki Haley names dozens of Iowa supporters after post-presidential controversy escalates in an October Des Moines Register NBC News Media Com Iowa poll. 16% of Iowa Republican caucus respondents named Haley as their first choice for president. He tied with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Trump is clearly ahead of the others with 43. Haley is doing better with independents overall than GOP caucus goers. The October Iowa poll found the share of independents naming Haley rose to 22. Up from 10 in August his campaign recognizes that momentum and is trying to build on it. This is growing effort. David Oman, one of Haley's last supporters, told a crowd of more than 200 at morning event in Ankeny on November 17. I think it's fun to be part of a growing team on a campaign. Nikki Haley discusses electability and her strategy to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Trump at her events. Haley had a message for undecided voters she is the candidate who can win. He's citing national polls that show him beating President Joe Biden in battleground states by larger margins than Trump or DeSantis. This isn't just a presidential issue. She said. This is about us winning governorships ballot. Senate up down ballot. House ballot. We want to get all of that so we can start getting our country back on track. When asked about her ability to defeat Trump in Ankeny, Haley updated viewers on her primary state strategy and noted that the field of candidates is winning as debate rules tighten. Nikki Haley says she disagrees with Donald Trump describing his rivals as vermin when we go to Iowa. We'll see three to four guys fighting for Iowa. She said, a few people will fall. Then we'll go to New Hampshire. And then we'll fight for the Granite Staters. Then more people will fall. And then it'll take on Trump head to head in our home state of South Carolina. But Haley said for this plan to work. It needs to be successful in Iowa. If you don't play in this convention, don't complain about what will happen in the general election. She said. Haley concludes her speech by encouraging the crowd to turn their F.